Marhaba, with so much salmon in the market, I'm going to show you one of my signature classics of how you can prepare salmon for dinner, maybe even tonight. So what I do is I start with about a pound of Atlantic or Pacific salmon. I like them because they seem to just have, they're a little thicker, and I like to use them for this particular recipe. Now what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've rinsed them with cold water, and I just cut them in half. They can be anywhere from, you know, each portion six to eight ounces a portion. So I just go ahead and prepare these. Now I've also separately prepared, put a piece of aluminum foil and sprayed it with cooking spray. And here I have a mixture of pomegranate molasses, tahini, brown sugar, salt, black pepper, and white pepper. Now all the measurements for this are on my website. And there's also to thin it down a little bit is lime juice, some freshly squeezed lime juice. Now what we're going to do is this is a great recipe because this is going to be, we're going to glaze the fish with the flesh here with this glaze that we've made. And we're just going to go ahead, distribute that over it, and then we're going to go ahead and dip it into our ground. This is a coarsely chopped pistachios and some panko. And again, the full recipe, the measurements, are on my website, Cooking with Kamel. And you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then that way you get, every time we post a recipe, you get a notification, and that makes it a little more convenient. Now I have these sitting on paper towel because after I rinsed them, I just wanted to, I go ahead and let the water sort of drain off. See, so we just want to dice evenly. Now again, this recipe, you can double it, triple it, and just, you know, increase all these measurements. This is just, you know, the amount I like to do in case you just want it for two. And obviously you can make it for more. And any of these ingredients, you can tweak them. You can put a little more lime, tahini, pomegranate, you know, whatever suits you, whatever you like. Well, all our taste buds are a little different, but I think this is a good base to start with. Now, here's where we have, so I've coarsely chopped these pistachios. Now, these are just unsalted pistachios. You buy them in the market. They're shelled already and unsalted. So I just mix them. It's a quarter cup of pistachio with two tablespoons of panko. Now, I like the panko because it just gives a little bit of crunch. And so I'm just gonna take each piece of fish, I'm just gonna roll it. And really press it. Because I wanna get a lot of this topping on each piece of fish. And then when there are the little spots that might not have any, we're just gonna go ahead and, you know, we can always sprinkle some on there. Let's go ahead and get this back to the center of the dish and we'll do the other piece of fish. Now what we're going to do, once this bakes, now I have the oven preheated to 450. Now the rule of thumb is to bake fish about 10 minutes per inch. So we're going to go ahead and bake this at, for 10 minutes at 450. And then we're going to put it on the broiler for just like a few seconds to let it brown a bit. And then we're going to caramelize some onions and then throw in spinach. And we're going to serve this on top of the caramelized onions and spinach, and then we're gonna make a sauce out of the pomegranate, molasses, the tahini, the lime, and the brown sugar, and we'll drizzle the whole thing with that and then put fresh pomegranate seeds over the whole thing. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's go ahead and get this into the oven. So we've got the fish in the oven, so we're gonna go ahead and caramelize our onions and get our spinach ready so that when that comes out, we can just assemble our dish. So now I've got three cups of yellow onion thinly sliced. Now I do them about a quarter inch. And I've preheated two tablespoons of olive oil in the skillet over medium-high heat. So we're just going to go ahead and add our onions. We really want to, you know, I think I'm just going to put this on high heat because we really just want, we want to caramelize the onions. We want to give them a nice browning on the edges, but we don't want them to completely wilt. We're just going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now I like to add a little bit of salt because it'll just make the onions sweat a bit. And it seeps over that. So let's just get these going. I'll have to get these caramelized. Okay, so this is what we want. The onions are caramelized, but they're still, we want them to stay a little white because we want them to have a little life in them. Okay, now what we're going to do is we turn the fire off. Going to just go ahead 
we're going to fold this spinach in because we want it just to wilt. We don't want it to overcook too much. So what I do is I just pile in all the spinach. Now I know it looks like a lot, but you're going to see it's going to it's going to become half of this. And we really need this much vegetable underneath the fish. And then I'm just going to take this tablespoon of lime juice. And you can hear that. That's sort of like, that's just going to release a little bit of steam. And then if we just fold this. That's why I like to add the lime. It's going to give it a little bit of, of a tangy flavor, but it also just gives us a little steam. That's really about Okay, see this way we get them incorporated. Look how delicious that looks. So imagine the flavor of this, the caramelized onions, the spinach, with a little bit of lime juice on this, and then we're gonna put our salmon on top, and then we'll do our drizzle and our decoration. So let's get that set up now. So what I did is after the 10 minutes, I checked it. You always wanna make sure it's done. So I thought it was perfectly done at 10 minutes, and I just put it under the broiler. Now I don't I don't bring it up to the broiler shelf, still on the middle shelf. I baked this on the middle shelf. I just turned the broiler on and left it for about a minute and a half because you really want to just get this nice browning, but it'll go from brown to black very quickly. So you really want to keep an eye on that. So here we've got our completed spinach and onions, and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to plate this. Let's go ahead and turn the plate that way. I'm going to go ahead and make this. This would be two portions. Now you could even put this on a buffet and you could make the pieces of salmon smaller. So you could do like four ounce portions of salmon and then you could just make, you could increase the amount of onions and spinach that you're going to make. And then this way on a buffet, people could just take a little bit of the spinach and the salmon. So you see it can be like, a, this is going to be, a, you could do a plate of dinner. I'm just putting both servings on, on this one. So there we go. So that's our... Now the fish has the skin on the back. So what we're gonna do is it peels right off. It really just comes, it comes right off easily. And then I'm just gonna slide my spatula underneath because this will sort of, this can break easily. And we're just gonna take our piece of fish. I like to remove the skin at that point. It's just, I think it's easier for people not to have to navigate the skin. This smells so wonderful. And then we're just going to put this right on top of this caramelized onions and spinach. And then the same with this one. I'm just going to, and then you slide your spatula and it just releases it from the, see now this one broke, no biggie, because it's easy enough to, to repair. So. I just want to get this piece of skin off. It's, so I'm just going to take this piece over first. Now these happen to be six ounce pieces of fish. I really think it's um, enough, but you know, depending on your appetite, you can certainly go up to eight ounce pieces of fish. Okay, there we go. There's our salmon. Now this drizzle, this is a drizzle that was prepared with tahini, pomegranate molasses, lime juice, and brown sugar. So what I like to do is we first go ahead, we take our two tablespoons, we're gonna do about a tablespoon each here. And we just sprinkle these on top. Now this is really a beautiful presentation. So just imagine um, at a dinner and how quickly this can be made actually. This dish from start to finish, you could finish this dish in about 30 minutes. And then we just take this and you just drizzle back and forth. Again, you can tweak the ingredients in the drizzle. You can add more pomegranate molasses if you'd like. You could make it more lime juice. You could add lemon juice if you like. I just like the lime with how it um, pops this. And there you go. Pomegranate, pistachio, and crusted salmon. Sahtain, double health. I hope you'll enjoy this recipe and all the recipes on my website, cookingwithkamel.com, as well as the recipes in my cookbook, Classic Lebanese Cuisine. My cookbook has full color photos of each recipe with easy to follow step-by-step -step directions. 
You can purchase my book at all major bookstores in the USA, Amazon.com, international online book venues, and signed copies from my online store, shopkamal.com. The signed copy of the book also comes with a DVD with 41 tutorials such as opening kibbe, rolling dough, and even the best way to cut an onion. For your convenience, we also carry specialty ingredients and equipment at shopkamal.com. Until next time, happy cooking, sahtain, double health.